very good morning everyone hp aruba networking enterprise switching team is excited to announce range of products and secure solution as part of hp discover 2025 we all know there is no magic in magic it's all in the technical details today i'm so happy to introduce you to vincent jails he's going to walk you through vsx clustering which is a very important technology in enterprise networking deployments hello and welcome everyone thank you very much yash for introducing me to our audience and giving me the opportunity to remind the importance of vsx in enterprise networking deployment i'm very happy to share with you the updated vsx best practices we released this white paper for hp discover to give you the opportunity to learn about those new vsx use cases during that event the previous edition of that paper is a bit old and due to all the new features and supported use cases over the past year we thought it was useful to refresh this technical note there are more platforms which are vsx capable like the recently announced cx 10040 there are more features that were not addressed in the previous edition like vsx keep alive over management port or sub interfaces there are more use cases like ipv6 uh, multicast dhcp in multi vrf context border and stop vtap in vxlan fabric with ipv6 and multicast there are also interesting topics addressed like vsx sync and management with central or any monitoring of the vsx elf with all the associated reference configuration for these new items and use cases the paper grew nearly by 200 pages since 2019 it has been very popular by the field customers reference in multiple forums and also used by tech engineers to support customer for best practices to give some example of technical topics addressed in this white paper here's a reminder on the enhancement of using management port for vsx keep alive instead of burning a dedicated physical port Next is about a reminder of various options to aggregate downlinks to servers from independent layer 2 links to LACP or static line. This is useful to understand these options when deploying virtual switch or distributed virtual switch. Please note that HP Morpheus VM Essentials brings mod for bonding with no extra cost. Another topic of interest is VSX LAN dual homing with VSX logical VTAP. On the left, you see the physical topology with VSX primary and secondary that act as separate BGP EVPN nodes. This solution is very robust and has proven to meet high availability requirement. Indeed, thanks to their Anycast IP address used as source vxlan they both act as a single vtap for the vxlan data plane as shown on the right the paper deals with seven use cases that are exposed with incremental complexity we start first with a basic use case for single vrf ipv4 no multicast with step by step configuration for vsx cluster setup up to the uh, ospf routing and you will find the config the reference configuration for each the network layers a new use case is about still single vrf uh, but this time with dual stack ipv6 and multicast another one which is of interest due to the fact that we introduced sub interfaces after the first te vsx technical paper is sub interfaces in the context of multi vrf for upstream routing next one is uh, an, an existing one which was about multi vrf with transit vlan another new one uh, which is of interest is the capability to describe stub and border vtap functions on a single vxlan fabric with ipv6 in the overlay and multicast in the overlay 
The next one is about data center two-tier architecture with a top of rack uh, VSX connected to uh, VSX for core and aggregation with multiple VRF and transit VLINE terminating to firewall upstream um, node. And finally, we have uh, something that has been uh, used heavily by some mid-sized customer is the interconnectivity of two uh, telecom rooms or two data centers with um, a VSX back-to-back -back configuration. So in brief, why is this paper uh, update important for your network engineers? You will learn about the VSX technology in a condensed format. So with three pages, you've got the key uh, technical aspect of it. You get a step-by-step -step configuration guide for most popular deployment use cases from a simple scenario for network administrator to learn about OSCX to really OSCX expert deployment uh, about VXLAN border VTEP with dual stack and multicast. It addresses many uh, field requires on active forwarding, VSX sync, uh, multicast, DCI, data center interconnect, VRP and new VSX features. And finally, uh, you still uh, have the, the access to the reference configuration for all those deployment examples and uh, with all the network layers. With that, thank you for your attention.